Hello chess friends and welcome to Zarov's Chess Channel and welcome to my new series The Mathematical Calculations and Geometries in Chess. So I think this will be a really fun series and uh, I think in this series for those who have maybe just started to play chess I think you improve your chess skills very fast, very easily and uh, in this series we do also this tactical calculations uh, i'll show you some ways how to use tactics uh, more effectively more uh, more easily in the chess game because sometimes we over calculate so sort of ourselves and in this series i think we'll improve our impro uh, tactical skills we'll improve our positional skills we we'll, will improve also our um, you know, planning skills so these three skills are really important in a chess game and first the first thing that I want you to do is realize this very very important uh, four squares in the center so basically a chess game is always a battle uh, for this four center square so if we lose the battle for the center we will lose probably the game so when we maybe occupy the center we should lo look for this uh, white center these are these squares now and uh, when we maybe fix some uh, pieces on on these squares well then we gain some space and maybe we can go further with a rook or something and occupy our, our opponent's seventh rank and this could be deadly so you see we'll be moving a little bit forward just from from the center then maybe fifth rank sixth rank and seventh rank so uh, a common game is a common chess game is simply played like that you cannot win always like tal uh, just sacrificing a rook uh, and um, checkmate your opponent in 19 moves that's not uh, how chess is played maybe you have to battle like for 60 70 moves and uh, of course you have to move slowly so <coughs> as said in this series we uh, improve our will try to improve our uh, planning skills and the most important thing is this four squares in the center so we'll do the so-called uh, static center so this uh, uh, this is really really important strategic element that you have realized in your own games so when we have the static center i'll show you this uh, common plants in these types of position and i've explained it in some of my own games and in some videos but not so uh, not so uh, not so as a special subject in this series we do this static center as a special subject and what uh, what other center possibilities can we have we can have maybe here the so-called block center uh, this is a very very old a very important strategic element also in a chess game because uh, here the pawn structure already shows us where we're going to coordinate our attack so we can have also maybe this these types of positions this is the so-called blocked out center also but in a wide uh, in a wide uh, center position because we have now occupied here the third rank from black's perspective and from white's perspective we have occupied uh, the fifth rank and these types of position have their own rules also so we'll do them also in the continuation of the series so what uh, other possibilities in the center do we uh, have we have maybe sometimes this so-called dynamic center uh, this dynamic center has also its own rules uh, and uh, it's really really important to realize this position because uh, you have to play with your pieces towards toward the center and many many ideas which i'll show you also in the continuation of the series so also we can have this so-called open center so it means that we don't ho have any pawns on the d and e file uh, so in these types of position it's really important to occupy this d and e file with our own pieces so we should place our rooks here on the d and e file that's the most important thing here the pawns can maybe here be on c and f file from black's perspective here something like that so you see we have an open center and this open center has also its own rules in the chess game so we as i said we'll do also this uh, mathematical calculations but first i want you really really split and divide this uh, ver uh, chessboard in four parts uh, and um, when we are when we have divided this board on chess uh, on four parts uh, we will search always maybe we have an advantage and a piece majority here on 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 this side so of course this is where we should coordinate our attack or maybe in some occasions we should uh, coordinate an attack on this side because we have here maybe the knight uh, bishop uh, rook 
queen and similar stuff so here of course uh, something is going on and some um, maybe we should coordinate our attack on this side so as i said i think this will be a fun series uh, i think as i said also um, you will improve your chess game very easily very very fast and uh, meanwhile um, if you want to have a better knowledge uh, of this common basics in chess uh, rules you can watch my basics in chess series so far and you can also watch my chess tactics and chess puzzles and my how to spot chess tactics video just in order to uh, to keep warm and um, have a nice tactical knowledge so far so in this series we do as i said also this tactical calculations calculations how you should calculate because there there are many many easier ways than you maybe just apply in your own games and i think will improve very easily so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope that you're looking forward to the series uh, i think we'll we'll have very very uh, nice videos at least i think 15 videos in this series so be prepared this will be some fun stuff okay thank you for watching guys and uh, chess is the best of course